Hello everyone, <clears throat> it's Brett, TN Artist. Hope you're doing fantastic today. So let's start with just a nice, cool painting. I've got my 8x10 canvas that I can nanopixel upsize to 16x20. I'm going to turn on the pigment over here so I can get the true color pigments. I'm going to go with... Um, the acrylics here and I think we're gonna go with some cerulean blue use the right bracket key to kind of bring that up a little bit and just kind of lay in some quick color here come down to maybe right about there a little bit of this plain air there's the color for that. Just kind of lay in some of that a little bit to maybe lighten it some. Push four and we're just going to kind of go back and forth here and just kind of blend these together. Just kind of crisscross and soften it can even come up in size a little bit like so and come over to the blend tool Sorry if you hear some outdoor noise. I have the windows open. It's a wonderful 70 degrees here. The wind's blowing. My neighbors have some loud vehicles, so you might occasionally hear some background noise. But it's too nice to not have the windows open. Cats are just kind of enjoying it. And there we go. Just a simple, simple sky off in the background. Okay, so now we've got that kind of fading down. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. I'm going to go over here to my selection tool. I'm going to go to freehand. I'm going to go to add and just kind of put in the outline where I want some distant mountains. I think I'm going to go with this kind of agate gray, which there's the color for that. And I'm just going to quickly throw that in, kind of going at this angle, like so. Then I'm going to come back a little bit of this, maybe hmm, cobalt violet. I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 13 and just kind of drop a little bit of that in. I'm going to come back to this ultramarine blue, just drop a little bit of that in, and maybe a little bit of this Prussian blue, drop some of that in, and just to tone it down a little bit, maybe just a hint and bring the opacity down to about five of this bone black. Okay, I'm gonna push four. I'm gonna bring my brush size down and I'm going to just kind of smear this around. Again, going in this diagonal. like so. Just trying to keep some of that texture and some of those colors there. Okay. And 
I may even come over here. Let's grab uh, this old brush. This is from my brush set. I'm going to bring this down. And let's. That's a little too dark. Let's bring the loading way down. There we go. And again, just kind of scrubbing it in real loose. And the reason I'm using this one is just because it's kind of a streaky brush, especially when it's just lightly loaded. So I'm just letting it kind of lay in some texture. I'm going to jump back to my acrylic brush. Still going to stay with the knife smooth, or could even jump over to the knife texture. Going to stay with five. I mean knife four. I'm sorry, it's on four. Setting four for the knife texture. Again, same general angle, like so. even bring that up in size just a little bit kind of soften some of this because I want it streaky but I don't want it to not look like it belongs there something kind of like that now I want to go ahead and make a layer above this turn off pigment I'm going to go to multiply I'm going to bring this down to about maybe 30 somewhere around there and let's click on Ultramarine Blue. Bring that down so the saturation is really low. To something like this. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, there we go. Again, just kind of the same sort of deal. And I'm just kind of breaking it up and building up the texture. And I think I'm going to grab this and come over here to where it's a little bit more of a bluish color, something like this one. Maybe lay that in a little bit as well. There we go. And I could hit four. And just kind of soften some of this here and there. Something like that. Now I can actually go back to five, bring this down, and then just come back and erase back some of those areas. And that's going to give the indication of a little bit more texture peeking through. Okay, something kind of like that. All right, so let's make another layer on top of this one. Do Control D. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take and do my selection tool and right up here, I want to just make this kind of bumpy kind of shape. Kind of fades down into here. Comes across. Barely kind of kisses the top of this. Like so. 
I'm going to grab this. Uh, let's go with this gray lilac. There's the number. Let's see how this looks. We'll go ahead and just fill it like so. A little too pinkish. So we'll add, we'll go back to the brush tool, bring it up in size, turn down the opacity. And on the bottom part of this, we're just going to kind of add in some of this because this is going to become a cloud. Okay. And I'm going to switch to four. And I'm going to kind of smudge this together. Like so. I'm going to grab some of this bluish gray from earlier. That one right here. And I'm going to kind of put some of it in here and there. A little bit darker. Select four. And smudge it in. Okay, I'm going to do Control D. And I'm going to do Alt. I'm going to select a color from the mountain here. And I'm going to come to the bottom of the cloud and kind of. Select again a few spots from the mountain. Because the reason is I want this mountain to kind of disappear into the clouds. And I'm going to hit 4. And just kind of softly blend this up. Into it. So, and it'll kind of let it peek through a little bit because I'm thinning it out. And I might grab a little bit of this plain air, press one, bring the size down. Add some of that in. Thinking that my sunlight's coming from the left here. Can I go over some of these lightened pink areas? Not everything though. So, come down straight down a little bit, go up a little bit. So, I'm at a color of something similar to this. I even switch to the smooth. Bring the opacity up to maybe about 39, somewhere around there. Something like this. Now that I've 
I've got that there. I can push four at the bottom of this, just kind of circle doing like this. Soften it. Come back up to the top. Soften it. Here, I want to kind of soften it like it's kind of coming over the top of the mountains. Like so. Now there's not enough distinction there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to my multiply layer and let's duplicate that. So we got some a little bit more darkness there. Bring that up a little bit. Duplicate that one too. Bring this down just ever so slightly. Something like that. And kind of smear it back up a little bit. So that we're showing just a little bit more of those mountains. Like so. We can come down here and soften this a little bit. Like so. Let's select all this mountain layer and let's merge those. And now we've got the cloud layer here. We can kind of soften that a little bit. Like that. Okay. So I think that's going to work for now. We'll come back and add a little bit more highlights. We need to get a little more context to what we're doing. So let's grab uh, maybe some of this phthalo green. And right here between the well, I guess right above the mountain layer. We can put another one here. And uh, we'll, we'll just keep the knife smooth. We'll just kind of lay in, sketch.
that in. Control D. straighten out the horizon line. Shift-Control-I-E-Control-D. There we go. So now that's straightened out. So we've got this here. not obvious now. Alright. Like another layer. Let's go with burnt sienna. Just kind of quickly lay in. An idea of where the beach is going to be. Something like this. Come down a little bit. Something a little bit darker. Moist sand. around. We'll come back in and start making this look like something, but just trying to get the idea of where we're going. Just make these little banana strokes. We're not wanting a super turbulent water. We're just going to lay in some of the groundwork. Oh, in this color. really just kind of an arbitrary color that I picked. You're just going to kind of do these going back and forth. There is a stencil that I have that if you've bought my packs you've got 
you could use it, but I wanted to show you how to do this. Like so. We're going to go here. We're going to go... Uh, a little less saturated and a little darker to this kind of color here. just kind of spread this out a little bit and look for darker areas to put some of this okay and break it up you don't want this to be solid okay now that I've got some of that there I'm gonna come straight across to the blue and add some of that in and again this color sorry I should have gone a little slower Okay, just back and forth. And along here. All right, and then we're going to go back to this color, this one. We're going to come up a little bit. We're going to add in some lighter green here. Because I want this to be kind of that greenish ocean that you can get every now and then. Where it's not the Caribbean blue, it's more the... Uh, I guess really might, you might see it more on the Pacific side. I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. And I moved this above the sand so I can start putting it on top of the sand. So, and then I want to grab a little bit of this blue up here, and I'm going to bring this down. This is where I want to add in the beginnings of some white caps. And this is going to look a little weird with it being this blue, but we're going to go back over it with some white -ish color. Okay. But I want to grab a little bit of that blue from the sky. a little odd. I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to come down here to the grunge. four and I'm going to kind of back blend this darker color into it
here's the color. Add in some of this on top of some of these others. kind of come along the area here. Key thing here is try to keep it horizontal. Like so. You can come back over a little softer. And then again go with four. You can kind of go back over a little softer. a little bit. Like so. And you can even use some of the other grunge brushes if you want to. Like say for example if you want to use like this one. Kind of come around through here. Like that. And then you can kind of come up on the sand here. four like so also do that if you want to come in with something like the uh, you can even grab this color and go just slightly darker say for example you want to add in a little bit of shadow to where the water and then go for So, so this becomes a building up of layers. going back and forth with the sizes.
like so. You could even have one over here. Like maybe it's a little bit more bubbly in the front. So, Add a few more breakers coming out. And then come back in with four. like so. Now you can come in with your like your pen tool kind of come around the edge give it a more distinct edging like so. So the way maybe on the edge it's not quite as broken up. kind of make it a little bumpy and a little froth coming over so it looks like it's kind of boiling back like so Something along the lines of that. Then come down to your sand again. And depending on how bright you want to have your sun being, you can go here and really come down to a darker color. It may even come down to a more desaturated purplish grayish color. kind of come along the bare edge of some of this. And really make some of these pop. And it's really going to be where the white is thicker that it's going to do it. So, you can add in a few straggles here and there. Something like that. And that's going to give it that pop. Then you can come back on top of this one and 
go to pretty much a pure white. I like to go just a little shy of it. And you can come in and tap in some sparkles. You can just kind of lay these in. Again, out here in the water, going for some of that sparkly spray. Some of those white caps. Kind of tapping them in here and there. Like so. That's going to give it that wetness, and then I would probably press four and on some of the back edges, maybe kind of soften and smear it. So again, it has kind of that turbulent, foamy kind of feel, like so. Something like that. And maybe grab just a little bit of this. size, bring the opacity down, and going straight up and down. Sorry, my cats are pestering each other. Just going to, let me take this off of three, go up and down. I'm going to add a little bit of blue. I know at the moment this looks really bad, but give me just a second. Press 4. And I just realized I did it on the wrong layer. Give me one second. <coughs> 
Sorry, I got distracted by my cats. <laughs> We're pestering each other, and I'm like, quit it. All right, so I'm going up and down here. And, and pretty much vertical. Now I'm going to go to four. I'm going to increase the brush. And I'm just kind of thinning this out is what I'm doing. So I want that hint of reflection there. Okay, now that I've got it, I can press five. I can bring this down and I can kind of come back and just kind of soften. Then I can go four and smudge it. got that there I can come back up here and I can go back to my brush and I may even go back to my pen and I can grab some of this white color and then kind of come back over it you know just kind of softly So it's a real subtle thing, but it just adds a little something. Okay. That one was a little too strong, so I decided to push it. Whoops. Push it back a little bit. though. When do you forget to change the brush settings? some of that. I can add another layer here. I'm going to grab my stencils. Pebbles.
these kind of have an angle to them so all I'm doing is just kind of playing with that angle some of the colors I've used before and I find that you know maybe the airbrush works good for putting on the first pass I can come back and take the brush, put it on four. And just kind of go over it. And it just kind of softens it into the painting. Like so. If I want, I can just kind of come back and just kind of soften some of them here and there. And then hit five and get rid of a few. is I can do control click and I can increase the opacity and go with a bit of a lighter color and add in a little bit more like actual paint. I can also go to a thicker brush, like an oily round. Add in some texture. back press 4 and just kind of soften it here and there and then come underneath it and then I can add some shadows if I need to like that. And again, depending on how much you want to do with it, you can add in some groove lines where maybe the water has run back and then just hit four kind of soften those in like so 
Add in a little bit of extra color here and there. Um, come back over to the clouds. Go back over to this white color. Add in some highlights. So you could add in maybe some little bits of green to the mountain area. So, maybe add yeah, just a hint of a shoreline. extra little squiggly lines to indicate where some more trees and mountainside kind of come up like so kind of tie it all together like that and if you wanted to you could even add you know some foliage over here um, you could add palm trees if you wanted if you wanted it to be more tropical if you wanted it to be like I said like maybe something uh, you know the Pacific you could add a just a generic kind of foresty looking coast kind of thing And that's just as easy as going with something kind of dark. But this is kind of where you can play around with it. If you want it to be tropical, then make it tropical. If you want it to be kind of a coastline of, you know, maybe the Pacific Northwest or something like that, then make it the Pacific Northwest. Totally up to you. Just something simple like that. Quick control click to grab it. Grab this. Well, something like here, and then maybe just grab the grunge brush, throw in a little different color. And then there you kind of go, you've got the, you know, just a nice, simple bay scene of, uh, you know, like I said, Pacific Northwest kind of thing. Um, you could definitely push the highlights more. You could push the 
shadows a little more, the colors. You could put birds in the sky. Um, you know, you could add some layers to the top here. Like, say, if you wanted to do another layer and add a multiply. And maybe throw in... Some extra shadowy stuff here. You can add a little bit more drama by making these clouds and shadow area kind of a little darker kind of maybe vignette in a little more so maybe it pushes that maybe there's a little bit more darkness to these It's a little darker out there. You know, like maybe something just kind of went through. It really depends how much more of a story you want to tell. You know? Could even add more of a highlight area. Yeah, so like if you wanted to add some highlights here and there. You could. And just a little extra drama kind of stuff. Totally up to you. Make a few of these stones pop out. A little bit of the water sparkle a little more. Some of these little white caps. Things like that. So, you know, but it's just an idea of how to play around. So, anyway, things to think about, <coughs> things to contemplate. So, but I hope you got an idea out of it. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the ideas, the stuff to play around with for this one. And give it a try. See you on the next one.